Differentiation rules. After practicing examples on finding the derivative using the definition, you will see that it is a long process. When should you differentiate using first principles? If the question specifically asks you to use first principles or the definition to derive. Luckily, clever mathematicians deduce some general rules that serve as shortcuts to calculate derivatives quickly and easily. Notation for derivatives. There are different notations used to indicate the derivative. If f of x equals y, the following denote differentiation of the dependent variable y with respect to the independent variable x. f prime equals y prime equals dy by dx equals d by dx of f of x equals dx. Note dy by dx is not a fraction and does not indicate division. It is the derivative of y with respect to x. Similarly, d by dx of f of x is the derivative of f of x with respect to x, and dx is the derivative with respect to x. Power rule. This rule helps you find the derivative of a variable raised to a power. For f of x equal to k times x to the power of n, where k is a constant, the derivative of k times x to the power of n with respect to x equals n multiplied by k times x to the power of n minus 1, where n is a real number. Example 1. Finding the derivative using the power rule. If f of x equals 6 times x cube, find the derivative of f of x with respect to x, or find f prime x. Solution. The derivative of f of x with respect to x equals the derivative of 6 times x cube, which equals 3 times 6x to the power of 3 minus 1. This equals 18x squared. Differentiation rule for a constant. This rule is derived from the power rule. For f of x equal to k, where k is a constant, the derivative of k with respect to x is 0 or f prime x is 0. The derivative is the slope of a function at any given point, and the slope of a constant function is always zero. Example 2. Finding the derivative using the power rule and the constant rule. y equals x squared minus 2. Find dy by dx. Solution. Use a combination of the power rule and derivative of a constant rule. y equals x squared minus 2. dy by dx equals 2 times x to the power of 2 minus 1, which is 2x minus the derivative of a constant, which is 0. So dy by dx equals 2x. Sum rule for differentiation. The derivative of the sum of two functions is the sum of the derivatives of the two functions. Difference rule for differentiation. The derivative of the difference of two functions is the difference of the derivatives of the two functions. Example 3. Finding the derivative using the sum and difference rules. If f of x equals 6 multiplied by x cubed plus 2x squared minus x, find the derivative with respect to x of f of x. Solution. d dx of the expression. 6 multiplied by x cubed 
plus 2x squared minus x is a combination of sum and difference of functions. Apply the power rule to each term. 3 times 6 times x to the power of 3 minus 1 gives 18x squared, plus 2 times 2 times x to the power of 2 minus 1 gives 4x, minus 1 times 1 times x to the power of 1 minus 1, which is x to the power of 0, and x to the power of 0 is 1, so the last term is minus 1. Note, a good knowledge of exponents is essential in this section. Before deriving, ensure that there are no variables in the denominator. These should be in the numerator as negative exponents. 3 divided by x squared must be written as 3 multiplied by x to the power of negative 2. Ensure that there are no surds. They should be written in the equivalent power form. The cube root of x squared equals x to the power of two-thirds. Ensure that there are only individual terms separated by plus and or minus signs. 4 times x squared minus 3x minus 2 all over x should be written as 4 times x squared over x minus 3x over x minus 2 over x. Ensure that all brackets have been removed before differentiating. The product of 4x minus 1 and 3x should be written as 12 times x squared minus 3x before differentiating. Example 4. Finding the derivative by rule involving fractions. Find the derivative of y equals 2 times x squared minus 2x plus 3 all over x. Solution. Rewrite as separate terms and add in exponents. y equals 2 times x squared over x minus 2x over x plus 3 over x. Rewrite with all variables in the numerator as 2x minus 2 plus 3 times x to the power of negative 1. Only now are we ready to use the rules of differentiation to derive. y prime equals 2 minus 3 times x to the power of negative 2, which equals 2 minus 3 over x squared. Example 5. Finding the derivative by rule involving thirds. If y equals the difference between x and 1 all squared plus the square root of x, find dy by dx. Solution. Simplify and rewrite. x minus 1 all squared gives x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus the square root of x is plus x to the power of a half. Now we can differentiate. dy by dx equals 2x minus 2 plus a half x to the power of negative a half. Making the exponent positive, we get 2x minus 2 plus 1 over 2 times x to the power of a half. The answer can also be written in third form as 2x minus 2 plus 1 over 2 times the square root of x.